The first thing you need to set is called recording. Go into your phone dialer settings and you will see something called as recording calls which is disabled by default. Now you can turn that on and you can record all calls or calls that you get from unsaved numbers or just from selected contacts. Now this might not be available in your country depending upon the rules there. Now if you're already on a phone call, you could go into the overflow menu and hit record and it will record that conversation. Now let's say you're already on an app like Instagram or you're checking your mail or anything and you get a phone call, it comes like a pop-up. But what happens when you answer is that it takes you to that screen, to the phone screen, taking you away from the application. If you go into your phone dialer settings and enable call pop-up, which is disabled by default, now when you get a phone call and you answer it, it will not take you away from your screen and you can stay on that app and continue to work. Second one, every time you open an app, there's this light animation of opening and closing. Even between switching apps, it happens. And at times I find that slow. And you'll know what I'm talking about once you completely eradicate that issue. So if you go into settings, go into advanced features, there's something called as reduce animations, which is again, by default, it's turned off. When you turn it on, you're gonna feel a blazing fast experience. Like it just opens, the app opens as soon as you tap on it. It's quite insane. Next, which one do you like better? This picture or this one, which takes advantage of the entire display that you have. You know, the other one, you see that there are no black bars at the bottom and at the top. But if you see in this one, you'd have that. That's because of the way your camera is set up. If you look at the aspect ratio, it's three is to four by default. You can actually change that by going into the aspect ratio menu and tapping on full. And now when you take a photo, you can see how it completely changes your photo taking experience. And this is what you need to be able to do, especially because all of us now look at pictures on our phones more than anywhere else. And just look at that photo. Now, something very odd is that Samsung, when it ships your phone, your screen mode is set to natural by default. Go ahead and turn that to Vivid and take advantage of that dynamic AMOLED display. Vivid is just more colorful, it's saturated, it's really punchy, you'll love it. Coming to the next one, there's an inbuilt screen recorder which records everything that you do on your screen, creates a video out of it that you can play back and it's really high quality by the way and you can share it with whoever you want. However, there are some settings in it that are disabled by default. For example, the microphone is turned off by default and the video quality might be set to 720p. So just make sure that you're all the way up to 1080p for the most crisp screen recording. Coming to the next one, always on display on the Galaxy Note 10 is set to show only when you tap on it. It sort of defeats the purpose. I always want to know whether I have notifications, what time and date it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that setting. Go to always on display settings and tap on show always and not on tap to show. Surely it's gonna take more battery, but that's all right. We've got super fast charging anyway, and I don't mind really wasting my battery away on something so useful. So that's another setting I would change. The next one is very simple. I've set up my home screen that every time I pull down or swipe down, the notification panel opens up. And that's not again set by default. So long tap on home screen, go into home screen settings, and then there's a setting called swipe down for notification panel. This is gonna be turned off by default. You're gonna go in and turn that back on. Now, when you pull down the notification, it just, you know, the panel comes in, swiping up will open the app drawer and that's how you want it. Now, we all love watching videos, right? And the notes display is one of the best out there, but you're not gonna be able to leverage that to the fullest if you do not have your video enhancer setting turned on. It basically identifies that if you're playing a video on a video streaming service, it'll automatically enhance the quality and give you the best experience. Jumping on to the second last one, when I long press my side menu, I get the power off options, but you are probably getting Bixby. And to turn off, you probably have to, you know, pull down your notification panel, hit that power button. You could just actually configure the side key. So just uh, go to side key settings and press and hold should be set to power off menu so that it acts like a normal power button. Also, if you double tap this button, it can, it quickly launches the camera for now, but you can set it up to open any app of your liking. So, you know, if you, if you want like to open gallery a lot, or if you open YouTube a lot, so you can pretty much set any app to open when you double tap that side key. And lastly, you want to be able to disable 
jumping to the Bixby home screen by mistake a lot of times because it's really not as useful, but you do end up going there. So to turn that off, pinch and zoom, swipe left, and then turn Bixby home. That's it. And when you go back now, it's kind of locked and you cannot go to that screen. So that's a relief. Anyway, guys, those were 10 settings that I would definitely change as soon as I get the Galaxy Note 10. I'll be coming up with another video on a couple of more settings that you could change. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you in the next one.